Hi, I'm calling in about an induction this morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can come in. Okay. You can come in today at 7. Today at 7, you guys are good to go? Yes, we're good to go. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Let's go have a baby. Go have a baby. <laughs> All right. Good morning guys, it is baby day. It is 6.29 in the morning on Saturday, February 9th, and it is 13 degrees below zero, and we got the thumbs up. It's baby time. We are going to stop by Starbucks and get some breakfast because I need some coffee to make it through today. Um, Kaya is sleeping. And I think today is a really good day to welcome our sweet little baby boy into the world. <laughs> it's freezing cold. Oh my gosh, I've been up since like 4.30 in the morning. My nerves are like, my nerves are like fried. I'm so nervous, you guys, that this time I'm going to have some kind of like complication or some kind of, kind of issue. And I think I'm more nervous this time too because I know what's coming. So, um, Oh my gosh, all the nerves this morning, guys, all the nerves. Oh my god, my Yeti. I got you, baby. Thanks, baby. All right, let's go get some food and some coffee, and let's go have a baby. Happy birthday, baby boy. This is where he'll lay down for the first time. Okay. I'm gonna go put on my pretty blue robes and my band. Have... Look at that belly. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Don't back up. Let's get him out. You ready? Okay. Oh, yeah. What's your final guess for? Measurements. <clears throat> Final last guess. They found seven ounces, twenty one and three quarters. I think it'll be eight pounds, five ounces, and twenty one inches long. Because he's tracking smaller than Kaya. But I'm just gonna say no, I will not be surprised if he's over nine. <laughs> 
Yeah, could be. It's right around the same time Kyle was born. She's nine pounds, three ounces. Two 20 ounces. Two. Nine pounds, two ounces. Was it two ounces or three ounces? Nine pounds, two ounces, and 22 inches long. I shouldn't argue with the mother. You know. <sighs> I birthed that. Show, did you show my view? Well, if you like snow, there's plenty of it. <laughs> it's nice. Feeling nervous? It's a really nice room. Like, we have a lot of room. We yeah, we'll just bathroom. do a little... It's very spacious. I mean, compared to the last time. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Last time it was, I would say, a, probably a third of this. If that, is this just the birthing room, or do you think I stay in here the whole time? The whole time. We got moved last time. Did we? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Because <sighs> guess what? In some of the other rooms, they have like queen-sized beds, so you can sleep with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. They might switch to beds for sure. I would, I would say, because that bed looks kind of small. Mm -hmm. A little bit. It looks like it's for meant for one person. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. two technically. <laughs> Technically, too. Maybe it'll kick, huh? Ah, maybe not. <laughs> well, either way, it's happening today. I know. It's so surreal. Better fresh up? Freshen up? <laughs> well, it's like the next. Okay, so what time is it right now? Nine? It is. 9.01, maybe two. <laughs> Okay, so they just went to go grab my um, my Pitocin. They're gonna start me on Pitocin. Um, a lot's happened to you guys. Sorry, there's been like doctors and nurses in here, so we're just like, take a little break. Okay, so right now I have a Foley bulb in. We decided to go that route instead of doing Cytotec or Cervidil. Cause what did he say? I was He said I was at a two. And he said when this gets to what a three or a four that this will fall out. I feel like like It just matters on how big their fingers are. If they have just really small <laughs> fingers, then like yeah, I fit two fingers in there. So I don't so, <laughs> so you're a two. So they're going back and forth. A lot of them are saying that I'm very loose one, like one stretch to a two or like All right. this doctor said a two when he was putting down. He said 50% effaced, two centimeters dilated. So we decided to go with the Foley bulb, which is like a manual dilation instead of like cervical softening. And they, like I said, they just went to go get my Pitocin. We're gonna start that, but it should shorten the labor process apparently. Instead of it being like, what did he say? The cytotech? It could yeah, be every four hours and you could have up to two to three doses. Right. So it could be a 12 hour process before he even gets Pitocin running, so. Right, right. So this is like. It could be, yeah. Uh, quite a long time yeah and this is like a little bit more uncomfortable you know because with the side of tech you just kind of like sit there and you wait it's a little bit more uncomfortable because it's like a manual dilation so I have like a tube shoved up there it's like super glamorous um, and they like tape it to your leg super cute but um, definitely a lot of pressure baby's looking really good he's having a lot of accelerations <laughs> and what they call my lack thereof of contractions <laughs> you want to show him the screen <laughs> If you look at this screen here, you got the green line, which is right there. That's Morgan's lack of contractions. <laughs> and the pink line is his movements. So the more solid it is, the more movement he has. That's my heart rate. It's like, oh, they don't have a monitor on me right now. And then this is his heart rate and he's having, they said he's a happy baby. Yep. <laughs> Those are that's his happy line. So more more up and downs the better. So and like the best part of like like the best part of this time is I'm wireless. Like they're like wireless monitors versus last time remember I was like all puppeted up. Like these were like wired. So I'm wireless. I can like walk around, do my thing. I'm gonna yeah. have an IV here soon. So and that was the worst part, you guys. I've like in so many birth vlogs. Oh my gosh. Ouchie. That hurt <laughs> so bad. That was like the worst part so far. It was a very thick needle. But she's like, I have tough skin. <laughs> I was like, dang right, I got tough skin. But yeah, so that was the worst part so far. Was, the, was this was probably worse than getting the Foley bulb in, I would say. So but yeah, yeah. it's 9 a.m. We've got 
Grandma should be getting Kaya soon, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're doing good. You're looking good. <laughs> Just give me a couple hours. I'll start looking like the Grinch over here. But yeah, our nurse is so awesome. We love her. She's awesome. Yeah. She's been... So we cleared up like what we can and can't record. So we're going to have to definitely like move this footage off the memory card as we go throughout the day so that we have plenty of space for pushing later on. Okay. Where did I update them last on the vlog? Was it right before she walked in? Yeah. Okay, so again, they're like, they're, they're hoping I deliver before seven tonight. That's their guess as well. But okay, so right now you guys, it is 10, 10, and they just kicked up my Pitocin again. Um, our nurse is seriously super awesome. Um, she's been in here almost the entire time chatting through things with us, getting us admitted, going through paperwork, all the fun and jazz. just hanging out. Just hanging out. She's really cool. I love her. Um, okay, so, yeah, just kicked up my Pitocin again. I still have the Foley bulb in. Um, I, have I had it in for like an hour? Yep. Yeah, so I've had the Foley bulb in for an hour. Again, that'll come out when I'm like at a three or four. It should just kind of fall out, but they are tugging on it like once an hour just to see. Um, oof, I don't know what my Pitocin level is at. What is that right now? Mike, you can show them this. Four. Wait, hold on. Which side is it? I don't know medical. It's the oxytocin. Oxytocin? Four mils. So yeah, I'm at four mils, <laughs> like very low. Um, the cramping contractions are coming in, but um, yeah, I made sure that they knew that I wanted my epidural to work this time. So we'll see. I think I'm gonna so stand up and hopefully they get a guy that puts it in right. <laughs> yeah, they just need a good guy this time. So, but I'm I'm excited, feeling good. I'm not like screaming in pain yet, so that's a good thing. Not yet. You are coming out soon now. Yep, he's doing good. Yep. He's moving. According so. to the monitors, he's happy and moving around. And I'm already Things are going to get a little tight so for him. Hungry. I'm already hungry. You are, huh? Mm hmm Yeah, I'm hungry. So, Kenna should be here soon. And my friend Stacy should be here shortly after that, so... All right, I might go freshen up and try to like cover this burn on my forehead.
Okay. Shoot it. So update, it is 1220 and let's see, I'm still at, at a three. It, they haven't checked me for a while though. I don't know what I'm at currently. At least a three. At least a three. My Pitocin's at a 10 and I think the max is 20, right? Is the max 20? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a slushy and I have more chicken broth. It looks <sighs> yummy. Mm-hmm. It's But we're gonna, I think we're gonna go for a walk here pretty soon. I have to get my Pitocin kicked up again at 12.35, so like, like 15 minutes. So maybe we'll wait to walk until after she comes back and kicks it up. And then, yeah. That's what's going on right now. So 12.20, we're still hoping he's gonna be here in like six-ish hours, but he's taking his time. He's comfy. He's baking. Mm -hmm. He's comfy. All right, let's go check out the kitchen. All right, so we got some water. Some bread. Some jam, peanut butter. Let's go see what we got in here. Ooh, some fruit. What's in here? Vanilla pudding, chocolate pudding. Ooh, that'd be good. Ooh, apple juice, orange juice. Shoot. Lots of liquid. Vanilla ice cream, holy man. Actually this, what is this, sherbet? This is actually really good. I remember having this when I was in the hospital. Super good, well I will be revisiting this place. At least that. <laughs> oh, that's ugly. Can you edit this? Fix my face a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go on a walk. Dang, I didn't, I didn't think this through. <laughs> Voila, it's a, ch it's a chicken. Okay, so this is the speaker. Just between me and you. It says rainbow sherbet. And they're really good. This is the my jam. This is my jam. Look, you can even have like toast. Yeah, you can. I said, yeah. Oh, I just said you can't. You can. Sugar? Yeah. Oh, that's long. Yeah. See? Oh. Cereal in there? This is the hookups. It's got a meat. All right, so it is 2.50 and I'm still at a three as of, what was it, like an hour ago that I got checked? It was heavy money for an hour. Okay, so it was at a three an hour ago. Um, they're gonna check me at like 3.30-ish. Um, contractions got super intense, um, um, but contractions got really intense. They were like two minutes apart, um, getting really painful, but I didn't wanna get the epidural yet. So we decided to do some dilated and like put me on my side and that did like wonders. Um, and now we just kicked up my Pitocin to a 16. The max is 20, so we're like almost maxed out on Pitocin already. Um, but, so yeah, my nurse just went on lunch. So she, when she comes back, she'll check me. And hopefully, hopefully, I'm like at least at like a four. I was really hoping for like a four or a five before I get my epidural. But I am pretty comfortable like with the dilata that she gave me. Um, and then from like laying on my side. So, fingers crossed. Now we got Stacy here. Kenna's sleeping. <laughs> and then Mike's just hanging out. Yo. So we got the team here. We're good to go. We're ready for baby. But he's still, he's, he's being stubborn. He does not want to come out. What else can I update them on? That's it, right? I've had like so much chicken broth. Like way too much broth. Yeah, I've just been like laying down and napping, guys. It just got really intense and I got like super, super intense contractions and then the dilated. I think that's all that's happened, but 
Okay, I'll update you guys after after they check me at 3.30. Okay. It is 4.40 and I'm at a solid four now. And what else? Oh, and I'm laying here. I've got a peanut ball between my legs and we're trying to get my contractions to come more consistently. And I'm at, hey, am I at a, an 18? Pito no, you're at four. You're at 20. Oh, I'm at a 20 Pitocin level. So I'm at like a maxed out. Last time I went from a, Last time I went from a five to a nine pretty quickly, so hopefully um, with like having my leg over the ball, I think once they break my water, things are really gonna get, they're gonna like pick up really quick. Um, yeah, so really I, I'm just hoping in the next hour hopefully I make a little bit of progress, a little bit of progress or at least have him come down so that they can break my water and then I can get the show on the road and like have him in a couple hours. <laughs> That would be really nice. Cardi. Oh, hang on. Isn't it miscongeniality too? No. No. <laughs> oh, I thought it was. That's Sandra Bullock, and that's the only one that I really know. <laughs> she hasn't. I wish she had it first. Oh, my skin is really gross right now. I hate drinking. I know. Is that a big one, Mike? Yes, it's spiking strong. I know. That one was Ellie. Okay. All right, so I'm on my like millionth jello and my millionth cup of broth. I'm starving. I officially haven't eaten in almost almost 12 hours. Um I took like a like a rest on the dilated, so I feel I feel rested up, but I still don't have my epidural. But um hopefully we'll have that like before they break my water <laughs> because then things are going to pick up. So yeah, but we're doing good, I think. My pubic bone feels like it's gonna break in half. <laughs> oh, I forgot it like zooms in even more. Is it okay? Yeah, it's good. Okay, so it is 6.30 almost, and I just got done with the most traumatic epidural of my life. Um, yeah, that hurt pretty good. Hi. Hi. You doing good? Yeah, I'm good. My blood pressure was like through the roof. My, my, did you see that? That was scary. And my, my heart rate dropped to like 50. Um, anyways, so I got my epidural and I cannot feel my contractions now. They're coming consistently. I've got the shakes really bad right now. So. That's good, it's all a good sign. And then, um, yeah, that was a really traumatic epidural. Um, they like hit my, like, they like hit my nerves in my they back. Grazed. Yeah. They, they brushed your nerves mm -hmm. in your spine. That was really painful. Yep, so you got a zinger. Mm -hmm. Zinger. That was a zinger. That was like down my left side. You that was like those really kind of pickles, though. The zinger pickles, <laughs> little zingers. Oh my God, that was such a dad joke. That, that was, was something such my a dad, dad would joke. say. Oh my God, you like those That's, pickles? That's it. Scared me. It scared me too. And I was like having a contraction <laughs> while it happened. But that was really scary. That was really scary. That hurt really bad. But currently, I think I'm still at a four. 
but we're doing good. We're we're <laughs> we're clucking along. Did I miss anything else? I got my epidural. It's like hard to remember everything. But yeah, metaphor. I think the next step is we're gonna see if the doctor wants to break my water. Um yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. I was really nauseous and I got some so friend. But I think that's where we're at. Right? Yeah. I think I, I keep forgetting everything. But my Mike will be able to fill you guys in too. Okay. Where are we at? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm out of five. I don't know if I told them that from last time, but I am out of five after they broke my water. Um, did I tell did I update them after they broke my water? No? So, okay, let's start over. <laughs> they broke my water, and um, immediately after they broke my water, I um, dilated to a five, and so now we're just trying to wiggle him down, and hopefully he will come down. So, and right now it is 8, 10 p.m. It's been a long day, so mm -hmm. I think we're gonna rest our eyes, we're gonna try to sleep a little bit, I'm gonna drink my icy, and then Hopefully in a couple hours we have some progress. That's where we're at. I feel like super out of it. You feeling those contractions? No, I can't feel them. That's good this time. And it's great. <laughs> good job. It's super It's great. working. Yeah, my legs are like super dumb. It's great. So. Sweet. Well, until. Yeah. Now it's time to rest. See you in two hours from now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Another update, it is 9.35, I napped for a little bit, and I'm still at a five, but he is at a negative one, and um, I'm much more thinned out, and, ooh, we set me up, oh my gosh, okay, hang on. We set me up, and um, we're trying to get more pressure on my cervix, and even though I have the epidural, I can still like feel the intense pressure of these contractions. And these contractions are no joke, you guys. Okay, so the bottom line is my contractions. So those are my contractions. And they're coming every, exactly every two minutes. And they are pretty intense. Um, and I'm starting to get like super nauseous. All right, you probably won't be hearing much from me. I'm gonna try to remind Mike to record as much as possible. Um, but I can feel that I'm starting to get into transition here into active labor, especially now that I'm at five. Like a five, six is when I usually transition into active labor and I'm getting really nauseous. So, good signs, but it's been a long day been a really long day all right well I'm sure this next clip is gonna be me handing it off to Mike so wish me luck Hey guys, um, so I 
have news. <laughs> um, I'm driving home to surprise Mike that I am pregnant. Come in. I think it's good. Okay. We're good. Oh, my God. 
here I don't have stats on him yet the doctor was guessing eights everybody get shot do a snap photo of my face and then his he looks like you I think he looks he's like breast him. yeah he's breastfeeding right now is he, is he doing good yeah now he is he calmed yeah. down finally I know he was a very angry boy after delivery yeah Good half hour, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, he's just been sticking to this side for about uh, 20 minutes now. Um, he was an angry boy when he came up. I'll fill you guys in on my birth story. When I sit down, I'll do like a labor and delivery story. Um, but yeah, hey Mike, true to form. True to form, same as last time. Within an hour and a half, she said. What? At 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock, I was at a 5, and he'd finally dropped down to a negative 1, and then, um, make sure I'm focused, and then... When did you at, pop your water? That was, that was at like 7. Okay, so, 9 o'clock, she said, because she went and double-checked everything. 9 o'clock, he finally dropped, and I was still at a 5, and then I sat up. I sat up, I don't know, listen, I sat up. As soon as I sat up, I, I delivered at 10.40. So within an hour and a half, I went from a five to fully dilated and him out. Hour and a half, like hour and Once 40 you minutes. Yeah, I took an, an hour and a half. Am I crazy? True to form, same thing as last time. He's a cute boy. He's like a perfect mix, I think, of you and me. He's and, He's got your nose, but he's got my face shape. He's breastfeeding right now. He does. But... He's got your face. She's got like a high cheekbone. Mm -hmm. He has these high, like. Let's get around. Round face, chubby cheeks. Okay. All right, you hey, guys. My hand's going numb, so I'm going to put this down. You not get rid of that Yeah. Rich. But he's so perfect. He he's is. so perfect. Without further ado, 
this is little man. This is Mr. Raker John. His bottom lip is so big that it folds in half. What? It folds in yeah, half. Folds in half. I saw. Just like, well, he looks just like high in this clip. That's crazy. There he is. Got our movie set up here. He's sleeping here. We're gonna put him in his um, bassinet here in just a second. Mike is going to change. Kenna is already sleeping over there. <laughs> So we just got to our recovery room. Um, it is 2.25 in the morning, and he just got done feeding. He's breastfeeding like a champ. Um, I ordered some like late night breakfast, which was, oh my God, it was so amazing. I was so hungry. I inhaled a burrito, a piece of French toast, and a set of hash browns in like 10 minutes. So, mommy was hungry. <laughs> But um, we're gonna put little man in the bassinet and I'm gonna get some sleep. Mike's gonna get some sleep. We have like a queen size bed. So Mike is able to sleep right next to me. Now it is officially Saturday, February 10th. But, or Sunday, February 10th. Um, Saturday, February 9th, it was his official birthday at 10.40 p.m. And he was seven pounds, 10 ounces, and 20 and three quarter inches long. So almost 21 inches long. He was a little guy. I still can't believe how tiny he was. And um, I had no, t or I had like no stitches, only one little itty bitty tiny tear that didn't need repairing. Um, but more to come on that later. So I feel pretty dang good. I'm all with my IVs. So they'll leave this into the morning and then they'll take it out. So, am I missing anything? I don't think so. All right, well, should we put him in his best net? Get him ready for bed? Is he so handsome? He sure is. Hey, All bud. right, don't mind us. Just Drooling over our baby. No, no bruising. No. Kaya had good. some bruising. He's got a perfect head. He's got like the same color hair as, as Kai. Just a little bit of hair. Mm -hmm. We'll do first bath tomorrow. <laughs> All the His things. Little nostrils go beep, 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 beep. I know, I love his nostrils. We'll do all the things tomorrow. We'll show you guys more of him and his first day of life tomorrow. All right, you guys, we're gonna get some sleep. That is going to conclude the birth vlog. Happy birthday, little Raker John. Welcome to the world. All right, we love you. What a wonderful